All right, today I'm gonna show you guys how to change the oil on a 2010 Nissan Rogue. Uh, first thing I like to do is pull out the dipstick and also remove this cap here if I can. Okay. I just leave that just like that. And pull this out. Also, it might be a good idea uh, before you lift it up or jack the car up, however you're lifting it up, is to check the belt. There's one tab here, and one tab here. Here we can check the tires, you see here, it's a lot of dry rot. She got good tread, let's check the tread now. This is 30 seconds and you can see the dry rot in the tire. Same 30 seconds, you can see the dry rot in the tire. Or even looking here, you can see how bad that looks. I also like to check the axle. Even though the axle never really goes bad, rear shocks, also rear brakes, so I'm gonna get a light. I can tell, I don't know if you can see but I can see how much life is in there. I personally don't like to pull off wheels for just oil changes. Unless it was requested like a brake evaluation or something of that nature. See in this case, you can see that the boots, look it's kind of ripped. And side to side play, but really what you don't want is up and down play, which it does not have. Sway bar end length feels good. Top and bottom, come over here. See that side to side, but not up and down. Oh God, this must be a new axle, yep. Kind of speed things along, you check the shocks. You check out the hardware, and now we're gonna shake the wheel. I already broke this loose, but this is a 14. Get a good grip like that. That's the direction you go. Let's position this. Now we're gonna let that drain and I'll show you guys how to change the oil filter. All right, the oil has done drain. So, let's put this bolt on. I'm gonna tighten that up. And here's the oil filter. Loosen this up. These are usually put on hand tight. It's about that drain. I'm making a mess. All right, once it's done draining, put the new filter on. This one, in my case, is 4612. I'm not sure if you use a different brand, what it is. But I use EcoGuard. 
and now we're just going to get this tight. And that feels good right there. Spray that up. And also the oil pan. And that's good. Here's the oil level, safe. Now let's get in, start the car, and verify everything is good.